Hi, my name is Julian Yash. Uh, my challenge for today is to tell you about crawling the web on a large scale in uh, 14 slides in less than seven minutes. Let's go. So Storm Crawler is a mature distributed web crawler based on Apache Storm. Um, I started it probably around seven years ago. It has quite a few um, features, but the first one I want to, to tell you about is the fact that it's distributed and scalable. Um, it, it is scalable and distributed through Apache Storm, which is a um, established platform for um, distributed um, processing on, based on streams. So here you can see um, the, the, the Storm UI, and it's showing the, the, the various components that make up the um, what's called the crawl topology. Um, so here we have a crawl running on, on four different machines, and you can see the various components like the, the fetcher, which obviously is the little bits that will go and pull the pages from the web. There is a parser that will extract the, um, the text and metadata from the documents, and an indexer to um, index the, the content of the documents, for instance, into uh, Elasticsearch. Just going back very briefly onto the, um, the list of features, um, it is robust. Uh, it's been used. You know, it is used by various companies all over the world, so it's, um, it's been you know, thoroughly tested, and it allows you to do low latency crawlers. It's not a batch process. It's, uh, it can be, it can be a very, um, very swift. Um, and it's modular, lightweight, and extensible, as we will see in the following slides. So as I said, it's rich in features. It does all the things you would expect from a web crawler. So it extracts the, um, the, the, the content from web documents, not just HTML, but other formats as well, PDF, Word, whatever. You can define custom rules for the extraction so that if there is some specific information within a document, a web page, say, that you, you, you want to index as a, as a field in Elastic, then you can, you can write custom extraction rules for, for that purpose. And, and of course, all the other things you get from a, uh, a web crawler, so you can define rules for filtering the URLs and controlling the uh, the expansion of the of the crawl, and it handles sitemaps, robots.txt, um, and and many other things. I mentioned earlier that um, it is modular, and there is of course an Elasticsearch module for it, and that gives you three things. That gives you first, obviously, a component that will allow you to uh, index the content of the of a web page into Elasticsearch, giving you your typical search engine behavior where you can enter a query and, and see documents containing the, uh, the, the, the terms. But it does other things as well. And that, that's where I think, I think things get interesting, um, is that it leverages the, um, the Elastic stack itself. So the second thing it gives you is that it also uses a, a different type of Elasticsearch index, called what we call the, the status index. And that's used to store the state of the crawler itself. Um, so all the information the crawler has about its URL, so the, the things it has discovered and the pages it has fetched and so on, is stored, can be stored as well in, the, in, a, in an index in Elasticsearch. Um, also, similarly, it also in, um, indexes things into metrics, into um, um, a, a specific index in Elastic, and you can use that to monitor the crawl. So for instance, here we have um, a Kibana dashboard uh, displaying the, uh, the metrics generated by uh, Storm Crawler. So here we have two, two workers, um, and we can distinguish the, uh, you know, the, the metrics from, from those two, uh, two um, servers doing the crawl. And that's, that's a very useful way of monitoring the behavior of the, of the crawl and making sure that everything's running fine. Um, so you can, get, you, know, you can use Kibana for that. Similarly, you can also use Kibana to display the, uh, the content or the status index and, and make sure that yeah, the, the, the crawl is going the way you, you want it to go. So how do, you get, how do you use that? How do you get started? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Um, there is a, um, a Maven archetype for um, Storm Crawler in, in Elastic, and that gives you a very good starting point to build a, a crawl topology with a Storm Crawler, um, which will be fully functional. It will index the documents into Elastic, um, it will also give you the Kibana dashboards we've just seen and, and another one to see the, the status index. And then that's a very solid starting point. And from there, then you'll find online tutorials and presentations that will allow you to go further and, and refine the, the crawl so that it can do exactly 